Hello, we are bored <laughs> here at home. Um, this is keeping it real. That's all of our shoes. How many do you think dad has out there? Why don't you go count how many shoes dad has out there and how many you have out there? I only have four. If you have less shoes than dad, then I will take you to the mall. You're already saying that because- I know, I'm gonna take you to the mall. It's gonna either way be. Dad's gonna have more shoes. But, um, she, Ashley is out on, well, they're all out on break. school break, midwinter break, because we have here in the Northwest. We call them lizards. Because we get very depressed hello, in the winter. Hello, lizard. Hello, lizard. Say hello. Lizard. Hold on. Call me on FaceTime now. Oh, okay. She's can you take that in the other room? Phone. Go tell Kaylee to unload so you can load. Okay. My mother said that she could take us to the mall. I'm bored. Um, can you go take that out, though? I'm only at one percent. Can you go? One percent. <laughs> That's because she doesn't plug it in until it's too late. All right, she's on the front on the phone with her friend. I'm willing to go to the mall just because I'm bored. I'm not doing anything. Actually, I am doing something. I while I'm leaving a lot of um, not the planning, um, but the ideas of what to do in Japan up to Jason because I do all the other planning. <laughs> Just put it that way. I do all the planning for Hawaii, any other vacation we do, any other travel to my family's house. I do myself because I enjoy it and I understand it and I know what I'm looking for and what we want to do and all the different likes and dislikes with the kids and their eating preferences. But Japan is like very intimidating to me, obviously, and he's lived there. What? You need to clean this area up and load your dishes. Um, so anytime. Um, speaking of this mess, there's always a mess. There's always a trail of ash. She's getting a little bit better. I don't know. But it's making me, like, I'm I'm close. I'm a couple weeks away from packing my bags to you go on this start trip. You're packing in two or three minutes. No, I'm not, because I don't want to pack too soon, because I need the clothes that I need to take. And so I can't pack that soon. Hawaii stuff is a different story. I could pack all my Hawaii stuff. In fact, I have all my tank tops and shorts already set aside. But I can't um, pack for Japan yet because it's all warm weather clothes. Like all the videos. So, so I, I digress. I can't pack or do any of the other travel stuff yet. So now I'm starting to look at videos of Sapporo, which is where we're going and where we're going to be staying. Um, and in the videos that I'm watching, it's still winter there. Like there's stuff from like two days ago, videos from like two days ago, and it's still snowing and slushy on the ground. And they're not going to be fully out into their springtime weather by the time we get there. Um, and so I know it's going to be cold. So I'm again, I'm, I was planning on just doing like light sweatshirts and stuff like this with, um, you know, pants and whatnot. I don't know if that's going to be warm enough. I'm going to have to, I'm keeping an eye on the weather um, for the city that we're going to be in. And I'm just going to have to really keep an eye on whether sweatshirts are gonna be warm enough for us if we truly need to take a, like an actual coat. <laughs> I don't know how to pack for this. Tropical, like one whole suitcase needs to be tropical and another one needs to be like full winter. So I am just diving into Japan videos online. Um, I just looked up, um, we kind of got a basic idea of how to get from our airport to the main train station. Um, which is near our hotel. Um, our host is working on trying, or I should say our travel agent is working on getting us some airport shuttles, but half of us, thanks to my recommendation, are flying out of the CTS um, airport, which is an hour away from Sapporo City Center, which is where we're staying. And so it saved us thousands of dollars. I'm not even joking you. <laughs> it saved everyone so much money to fly to this airport, but it is further away. So I'm looking up basic information on how to get from that airport to the main part of Sapporo. Um, 
different uh, transportation cards you have to buy and that you can buy ahead of time. It's like an app on your phone and just log, log your you know, payment information into it ahead of time. Um, I'm looking at, you know, what trains or buses are better to be on. Who's that? Kaylee, are you going to unload for Ash? I'm doing it right now. Thank you. Um, and then what to do. We have days where the kids don't have, the girls don't have practice. We thought they would practice in the mornings, but now they're practicing it in the evenings. And so we have all day to go and sightsee on their two practice days and then on their two performance days we will be in the arena for most of the day um and then they have i think one or two days on each end of practice and performance days where there's absolutely nothing um, planned and so we have free reign of doing something as a family or doing something as a group so i'm just looking at different things we can do with different allotments of time but also what to eat and picky eaters like oh not Ch well chelsea's not too picky chelsea i'm looking up what to eat in uh japan what i'm looking up things to eat in japan okay. and finding ideas um i someone i follow on tiktok is in um tokyo right now and she's finding really good stuff at the 7-elevens and so I no, I know, but they have like really good food there. I know. Yeah, it's like different over there than here. But she also oh, found awesome. this place. Well, just have like trash all around, and then the right here. No, I know. Yeah, our Seven Elevens are not good, uh, but these ones are like deluxe Seven Elevens. Um, I found a place that had like there, and it's a pretty standard place to eat at. Um, and they had really good hot dogs. Chelsea, Chelsea's kind of a hot dog girl. So I thought, immediately thought of Chelsea for the hot dog place. So Kaylee, oh, Kaylee's not going. Kaylee's my ramen girl. Um, Abby would like it if it was like a plain ramen. So we need, I'm just looking, I'm just researching all the things Japan and uh, um, Chelsea just paid me her payment for her plane ticket. Abby paid me yesterday. I will go pull Ashley's money out of uh, Venmo tomorrow as soon as it transfers. So I'm just kind of like, I need to wrap my head around the Japan side of this trip because Hawaii is just a piece of cake, right? Chels? Uh -huh. Hawaii is easy. We get to Hawaii, we know what to do, we know where to go. We've done it over a million times. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've actually done Kauai four times. So it is. Either way, we've gone and been able to search up stuff easily. Yeah, and a lot of this one will be showing Jacob Kauai. And you guys were really young the last time we went. Oh, I don't remember it. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what you're you were not sick on Kauai, though. So that's a good thing. Like with the ear infection? Yeah, that was on the big island. Oh. So you won't have PTSD of being sick. Well. This shot makes it look like we have like these huge, seal like huge rooms and stuff. It's not. It's just. <laughs> It's just a really big wall up to absolutely nothing. So, nope. all right. Well, bye. -bye. bye. Um, so anyway, that's all I'm doing today. I didn't film yesterday because I literally did nothing except for watch a Netflix show. Um, that ended up so sad. I won't even tell you what one it was because it was, it was very very sad. Um, Kaylee, you work today? Yeah. Yeah, a long shift, so her feet get tired after long shifts. I want to show you what Kaylee's making. <laughs> She's got quite the eye, eye for uh, different concoctions. Uh, banana. Is there peanut butter in there? Or just yeah, chocolate was, chips? And then butter. marshmallows. Right? Yeah. You got marshmallows that you're adding to it. And then she puts it in the air fryer. So then it turns into like a little banana s'more. So my mom would do these on a fire. They would wrap them up in foil, right? And do it on your uh, granddaughter days yeah. when you went up the canyon. That's where she got the idea from. All right, Jason's dad just came over and got the girls some medicine, AKA um, ice cream. But I, and I, it's really cute. He just does that. He got it for Abby. He wanted to make sure she was better before he came over. Well, one, to not infect her with any extra illnesses and not get sick himself. Um, 
but anyway, I wanted to show you. Ashley really wants to go to the mall. Oops, but I started to mildly decorate a little page for Japan. I'm more doing more like travel, you know, just like these cute stickers. I'm pretty sure one of you guys sent me, some multiple people have sent me travel stickers. Um, as well as like this one and this one in order to get it to fit on the page these are like 3d they're like puffy I just take the puff out I take it apart take the puff out and then I put two-sided tape on it but apparently we need to go take the girls Ashley I'm betting since I can't find my phone I'm betting she has taken my my phone to the car and she's sitting in the car waiting for me. So we're going to put the camera away and go to the mall with the girls. Which we will probably end up at Sephora. And I actually called it Sephora <laughs> because I'm looking at things for a Sephora. Easy mistake. We could run, run away. You and me together, baby, we don't got to stay. Let's lose, lose our mind. at the mall yes yeah. took your friend home because you're tired right yeah. and now we're going over to my friend's house she has three more bags on top of the 12 we've already picked up so she's doing really well for us I think we deliver everything next week so we are just at their amazing property this is where the Halloween haunted forest was and he her husband my friend's husband wants me to get his Halloween footage to him and I feel bad he's using it on his website because they're going to really go public a ton next year. Because because they do a charity. People so. in my like now your world like of friends have like gotten exposed to it and they're all like die hard for it. So now yeah, and all middle school us is all crazy about it. Yeah, the middle school is like really liking it. All right, horrible lighting. <laughs> I'm back at home, and I am looking at videos of Sapporo, Japan again. Um, I did have a huge mess throughout all of this as I kind of created my little uh, list here. You want to see my cute little notebook for Japan? I usually do one for Hawaii, but this one is just kind of a basic one for travel. And I'm making a list for trains and things to do and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to edit my video today. I don't want to do that today. I'll save that for tomorrow. So I'm just going to continue to watch some videos on Japan and try and get some better ideas. Um, like I said, I follow someone on TikTok who is in Tokyo right now. And so I've been watching her um, and what she buys at, at 7-Elevens and Family Mart, I think is what she called it. <laughs> um, so I'm right. I'm going to do a new list, uh, maybe her on the side. Um, I actually saved a little card to do like this. So maybe we'll make this like a little 7-Eleven card. <laughs> That's actually my bad idea. I was like, what can I do with this? But I still need to be able to write. Like this is going to be a heavily um, documented page, like all the way across. I needed to save space. So I didn't do anything up in this upper corner like I usually do. So I need to do like full lines down. But maybe I'll do like a little section down here. Um, and even like just tape it where I can lift it up and have other information underneath it. Um, I might have to do two pages, but um, I'm just trying to understand the area and the transportation better and food. So maybe we'll do a little 7-Eleven list of uh, foods for Ashley. Um, so anyway, I've just been doing that and working on um, going through the mail. I have um, checks that I've gotten in the mail for my scams and my YouTube money and things like that. So now I can make a credit card payment for my surgery, which is really, really nice. Brought my total down into a new thousands bracket, <laughs> which is fantastic. I can't wait to bring it down into the hundreds versus the thousands. <laughs> um, time will tell. We'll, we'll get some money. I actually just booked another scan today. so. Um, it is, what time is it? Jason just got home from work, 
6.30. Feels like it's, um, can't even see how dark it is out there. Feels like it's like 10 p.m. My little candle has um, almost burnt out. So I actually might, it's actually about to burn out all together. This is the one I got for my birthday from my friend. Look at this, look at the ambiance. I love, for you guys on camera, it looks like it's got like a wavy light going up. It doesn't do that in real life. That's just my camera. And I've seen it from other people's videos. It's just, it's just the camera. But I do have a little candle lit here um, for this room. I might take it into my other room and recycle. We made this mac and cheese yesterday. So Jason is gonna come down and eat that after he takes a shower. Yeah, I'm maybe gonna steal this because this one smells really good. Yeah, I'm gonna steal that one. So it seems like I'm running out of candles. But I think that means I need to go to Marshall's tomorrow. Ooh, this one does smell good. So, now that we've got some ambiance with that, and maybe what I'll do tonight is do this. Maybe I'll turn on a movie on Netflix, find or new little series. Um, and maybe I'll do some Legos tonight. Ashley's made another trashy mess on her desk. She does a lot better job cleaning it up though. But <laughs> when she makes too much of a mess on her desk, she ekes all the way over here to mine. And he has even started taking my chair. And I'm like, nope. No, 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 no. This is my space. Um, I don't know if I showed you what I got at Sapporo. Sapporo. See, I keep doing that. Sephora. Sephora. Um... I just realized that we got the other travel kit, um, the pink one. I don't know the numbers. Ashley knows all the numbers. Um, I, I tried it the other day, and I just am not loving it. She will be able to take that one in her travel bag for Japan. But I didn't love that scent. So I decided to get myself one in the scent that I do like and use the lotion for when we are in Hawaii and Japan and the body wash because sometimes it's kind of a hit or miss i think we're saying i think our hotel is a marriott so i do think i like their soaps um slash body wash but sometimes i don't so i think i may, might take that one they're all under three ounces so that i can travel with this um and i can use this little bag to put stuff in as well and i may or may not have other travel planned I kind of do have a travel planned before we go to Japan. So <laughs> that was also one of the reasons why I bought this. Um, Cause I'm only doing carry on. So I also went to Bath and Body Works and they have the Waikiki Beach Coconut Lotion. They have their whole tropical line. Um, but I need to look through my supply cause I think I have plenty and they didn't have a deal on the lotions which are the ones that I like the most, lotions and creams. And Ashley thinks that I have one of the refill foam soaps um, in the cupboard upstairs. And so I don't even think I need anything. I'm trying to save money. So I did not get that and they didn't even have a deal on it. But the lady walked up to me when she saw me watch, looking at all the Waikiki stuff and whatever. And she's like, oh, pull up your email. If you remember, pull up your email because these cute little lotions are only $1.95 today. And it was only for today. And they didn't have this size in the Waikiki one that I absolutely love. Um, but I do not have any more travel size in that lotion. And all of the travel that we're going to be doing this year is all carry-on size. <laughs> Every single thing that we're doing is carry-on size. And so I needed to go ahead and, I don't know, this one is like the, uh, just a different kind in that same tropical line. Tropa, tropidelic, tropidelic is what it's called. Um, they had a little, an extra lotion that was that scent and I smelled the scent, the lotion and I, in a bigger bottle and I did like it. So that will suffice, um, when I don't want to like spend the money, like I don't want it, this one's like. A more expensive one obviously this lotion is and so I don't want to like just use that one if I'm putting lotion on to go to bed you know what I mean like I don't want to waste a good lotion <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just stick these guys in here in this little bag 
and then I can take it upstairs because I may or may not be packing soon. This is why my brain has to make a list. That's why I'm like prepping for Japan because there's just a lot of things coming up. And if you remember correctly, I am going to end this video here. But if you end, remember, um, if you are not new here, we have three April birthdays. We have Easter. We have spring break. We have a trip to Japan, a trip to Hawaii. Um, did I say Easter? Then we have, well, I have something. And then as soon as we, yeah, as soon as we get home, we have Chelsea's birthday, so that's the third birthday in April. So, I kind of just have to like plan things and buy things ahead of time and make lists ahead of time because all of a sudden it's just boom, 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 boom. Like yesterday, I can't even show you because I already put things away. I bought, went to the dollar store and bought birthday bags for, I think I'm gonna use them for Ashley. I can definitely use them for Chelsea. Um, unless I find, unless I don't find things that are maybe more fitting for Ashley, I can use them for her because I'm not going to, not going to go all out in terms of birthday bags and decor for their birthdays. It's too close to travel. It's too close to our travel. In fact, we have to do it. We have to celebrate their birthdays ahead of time. And so it, because it's too much all at once you'll see how close <laughs> we're cutting it with all of this stuff. And so I have to do things ahead of time. And that's just what I do. That's how my brain works. Other people can be last minute and get things, presents the day before a birthday or even the morning of while the kids are at school. That is not my brain. That is not how I work. And it's okay if other people do it differently. <laughs> my brain can't work that way. So I am going to sign off with you so I can keep planning our trip to Japan and get some ideas. Jace, do you want to come make your presence known for two seconds before I say goodnight? Want me to do what? Make your presence known. Are you decent? Hey, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All my favorites out there, you know your name. <laughs> I know. I There's the mac and cheese in there yeah. from yesterday. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you all love that. So. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm reading your message messages today about Abby. Um, so thank you. Um, you will have found out by now if you've gotten to this video, it gets worse. It gets worse for that poor little kid of her of ours. So you'll find out. You'll have already seen. If you haven't. You need to rewind and go back and watch a couple videos. So, um, but thank you for your thoughts on her. As of today, I think we're in the clear. I think we're in the clear. She um, went to school today for the first time. Um, and she don't believe she works for a few days. So it's giving her some grace period to actually enjoy her break from school um, for high school. She does not have a break from college. So she just has college to do for one hour a day for the rest of the week. So she's recovering. I'll just say that. So thank you for your thoughts on her. Grandpa brought her ice cream today. I think I maybe mentioned that. Um, that's always, both grandpas, that's their cure is ice cream, which actually sounds really good right now. So I'm gonna say goodnight to you. It was a fun day shopping with the girls. Um, I will say, while we were in Sephora, we were watched like a hawk. Every time I turned the corner and I did not have those girls within arm's reach, I had a Sephora agent. <laughs> I'm gonna call them, they're like special agents. I had an agent on me. And I'm like, they're with me, they're fine. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, they're not even touching makeup. They aren't even touching open packaged makeup. They weren't trying anything on. They weren't even smelling the perfumes. They would pick up a package like this and then they would put it back down. The whole, I get it. I get the, the 10 year olds, 10 to 14 year old girls are new to makeup in this society in this day and age. Um, but I did feel like, like my friend today, she was like, oh, did they bombard you with all the things that they wanted you to get? And I said, no, because they were just watching me at, like a hawk for, as a mom there with 10 year old kids. 
and they didn't care about me at all. <laughs> they just wanted me to parent my kid, and I'm like, I am. They're doing nothing wrong. Um, there are other kids in there asking others, are there any 10-year-olds in here? I think they were doing a project for school or for TikTok trying to film 10-year-olds in Sephora. I mean, I get it. There are, gr there are kids who have done the 10 year olds in Sephora wrong for all the shenanigans they've done in the store and that's unfortunate but my kids were not those and and Ashley's friend was not in that crowd today they were good kids we had a fun time shopping and um yeah so that's it so little rant over take care and we'll see you guys next time good night